Hello comic book lovers and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be giving you my top 5 comic books coming out in June 2021. I'll go over what each comic is about and why I selected them for this list. So let's get into it. Welcome to Pages of Light, where we analyze literature from a Christian worldview. If that sounds like something that you're into, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Today's video will be a little different than what I normally do, which is reviewing one comic from a Christian worldview. Instead, I'll be doing a non-Christian themed video on comics that I'm most looking forward to reading this month. I'm planning on making videos for some of these comics individually, so stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in hearing my thoughts. So if you're looking for some new comics to check out this month, this is the video for you. The first comic I'm recommending is Oblivion Song number 31, which releases on June 9th. Yes, that's right, number 31. Oblivion Song has been one of my favorite comics of the past few years, and number 31 marks the beginning of the end of the series with its final six-issue story arc. The story is from Robert Kirkman, who wrote The Walking Dead and Invincible, and the art is from Lorenzo De Felici and Annalisa Leone. I'd recommend picking up the first trade on Comixology, and if you like it, grab the next four so you are ready for the series finale later this year. A decade ago, 300,000 citizens of Philadelphia were suddenly lost in oblivion. The government made every attempt to recover them, but after many years, they gave up. Nathan Cole won't. He makes daily trips, risking his life to try and rescue those still living in the apocalyptic hellscape of oblivion. But maybe Nathan Cole is looking for something else. Why can't he resist the siren call of the Oblivion Song? Next, we have an indie comic that was funded through Kickstarter called The Blackjack Demon, which releases on June 2nd. This comic was written, drawn, and colored by Nick Hermes. The art looks great with this old school style and vibrant colors, and the story also looks interesting from what I saw in their Kickstarter video where they talk about how the story blends a variety of different genres from western to science fiction. This might be the most unique comic I have seen and I'd recommend you check it out if a western style revenge story is up your alley. A boy crosses the American Old West in search of the stranger that brutally murdered his father after destroying their family mine. Bent on revenge, the young man soon realizes that this simple killer is something much, much darker. The Blackjack Demon is a genre-breaking western revenge tale focused on young Silas's journey through the changing American landscape, following the trail of carnage left behind by the mysterious figure that caused the boys loss and pain. Next at number 3 we have The Trials of Loki, Marvel Tales number 1, which releases on June 2nd. With the new Loki show on Disney Plus coming out on June 9th, I thought this upcoming collection of Loki's origin story would be a great way to prepare for the show. This 100 page comic will collect the first 4 issues of Loki 2010, which is a ton of content to explore this fantastic character. I'll be interested in seeing how the story in this comic aligns or differs from the character in the MCU movies. This anthology series shines a spotlight light on fan favorite characters, features timeless stories, and highlights some of Marvel's most impressive talent in the past eight decades. Thor's arch enemy and Marvel's most unpredictable villain takes center stage. He is the lie smith, he is the shape changer, he is the fire that burns, the god of mischief and trickery, Loki. Meet the mirthful, beloved young man that made all the Asgardians laugh until the first time he killed. Discover the gnarled roots of his twisted, unrelenting hatred for the Asgardians, and learn the chilling truth of why Loki will never be stopped. At number 4 we have Jupiter's Legacy Requiem number 1, which releases on June 16th. Have you watched the new Jupiter's Legacy show on Netflix? Have you already read all the Jupiter's Legacy comics and looking for more stories in the same world? Well, this comic is just that, and it's a double-sized first issue to boot. I thoroughly enjoyed the Netflix show, so I'm planning to pick up all of the previous comics and this new series. It reminds me of a toned-down version of The Boys if you've read those comics or seen the Amazon Prime show. The story centers around a group of people who 
who acquire powers in the 1930s and shows how they use those powers for good and evil throughout their life. There are disagreements between the heroes on how to handle villains as the times change and as their kids begin to take up the mantle as the new heroes. The next chapter in 2021's Netflix global phenomenon begins here as Mark Miller returns for the sequel to one of his most critically acclaimed series. Chloe and Hutch have gotten married and had more children. The superheroes are working in harmony with humanity and creating a perfect world, but all is not well in the Garden of Eden as the Samson family gets ripped apart and the secrets of the Netflix show's mysterious island begin to be revealed. And last, at number 5, we have Event Leviathan Checkmate Number 1, which releases on June 22nd. Checkmate is a comic series that started its first run from 1988 to 1992 with another run from 2006 to 2008, and now it's back for a six-issue miniseries. According to the DC Fandom Wiki, Checkmate is a governmental intelligence agency established as an independent branch of Task Force X. The organization took its name from the winning move in chess, and its hierarchy was modeled after the pieces in the classic board game. I've never really gotten into DC Comics, and this looks interesting enough with it being more mystery thriller instead of action-packed superhero comic. The dark forces of Leviathan have torn through the DC Universe, and now no one can be trusted. No one. Not even the person writing to you about this book. That's why you find out in Justice League number 63 that Green Arrow has been secretly funding a group called Checkmate, because not even the Justice League itself can be trusted. The mysterious Mr. King has helped Green Arrow assemble the greatest team of super spies the world has ever seen. Lois Lane, The Question, Robin, Steve Trevor, Manhunter, Bones, and Talia al Ghul will have to outsmart the smartest people in the world before they destroy everything. Plus, a new mystery character is tiptoeing through the shadows. They call him the Demon Rose, and he is hunting Lois Lane right under Superman's nose. It's an all-new, spine-chilling thriller from the Eisner Award-winning team of Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Malev. That's going to do it for this week's video. If you like this type of video, please let me know down in the comments, and if you plan to check out some of the comics that I talked about as well. You can also leave me a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to see more videos like this in your feed, or if you want to see individual comic reviews that I normally do from a Christian worldview. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep reading and to share the gospel with somebody this week.